looking at, uh, at your clients and your customers, like uh, small to medium enterprise, but that's SMEs as they're known, uh, how do you go about supporting those sort of organizations to ensure that they're actually competitive within the market, both globally and locally? Yeah. One of the major challenges of SMEs in the Middle East and Africa is access to finance. I would say that only 8% of the global funding from the banks to, uh, to the companies has been given to SMEs. And SME is a company which is very fragile, is below the turnover, is below 10 million US dollar. Of course, it's difficult for them to have the credit merit to get a lot of funding that they need to have to live in an area with such big expansion. So what we mostly do is to ease them to access to that. Firstly, we uh, help them to mitigate their trade risk. So we help SMEs to build a portfolio, a customer portfolio, everyone in the world. We have a database of 42 million companies monitored every day and for which we can grant exposure and guarantees of payment. So this is something that we put at the service of our customers and of course of SMEs. At the second time also, we give them some guarantees which they can bring to the banks. And the policy and the limits granted by Yul Hermes have a strong goodwill from the banking network. Because Yul Hermes is a company rated double A minus standard poor. So when these SMEs go to the bank and ask for additional funding and they bring their receivables to be discounted and the banks look that these are backed by Yul Hermes, what they see is that the double A minus standard poor guarantee that we give on such kind of receivables. And of course, they are much more goodwill, much more infallible to give additional funding to SMEs. So we protect them from bad losses, and at the same time, we ease them to access to funding.